Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Islanders. We just finished this island, so let's jump on to the next one. A mysterious new island. Maybe a red island I'll get next? Oh, a green one. It's a big one, too. Lots of open space. This is a very cool island. It's got some of these ruins going on. It's got these nice square open spaces. Very, very cool. We'll be able to do a lot of interesting stuff. It's also got... Oh, the gold mine is on the beach. That is interesting. Statues. You want me to play statues first? Well, for sure, we want a statue up on the top. Like right there. And for sure... If we're going to build a gold mine down here, we're probably going to want to have like a rich settlement in here. So we'll put that there. And then we'll put another statue right here. Okay, brick industry or lumber pack. Now, the unfortunate thing about the brick industry is I'm probably going to have to build it over here. I don't want it. I, I need all this space for my luxury housing that I plan to build near this gold mine. So, there's a plus 12. If I nestle these in correctly. I should be able to get slightly better. Well, I guess we could, in theory, build out here. Get this in there, too. So, build these like little self contained areas that will be used as adjacency for other stuff later. Let's grab our city pack. So, for sure, I'm going to put this right beside, or maybe what we'll do is we'll place a mansion like this. We'll put a very small space in between them. And regular houses, I'm thinking I might do over here, regular houses. Um, then I can have like my farming area over here. Let's tuck these bad boys in. Happy days, very nice. All right, a mason. Now I know that masons get certain benefits from being beside these brick type guys. And I might want to put a temple over here later, so... These guys are also great for temples. So a temple might actually go up against that wall there. So that's something to consider when we're laying out the rest of our town. We're getting these guys to be nice and friendly. I could do another settlement. Um, you know what? Might be an okay idea to just set one up. Like on this hill. And have regular houses around it. Like so. We'll focus on this one over here first. I want to make sure they're tucked in as tight as you can get them. Space efficiency and all that. And a farming pack. And this is partially why I put this over here. So we're going to place the farm first. Right there, tucked. In. We'll have you right there. We're going to get the mansions going as well. I'll try and place everything I can. So, and this is just a regular house, which can fit in nicely there. Brewing. All right, brewing is a different story. Let's set up a little brewing area over here. On the outskirts of this town. We've got a mansion as well that we could play around with. Uh, let's see. The shaman. Now, if I place this shaman correctly, I could get a lot of value out of it. 
for example, like over here, a plus 12 somewhere, plus 15, but it's also still in range to be used uh, for this housing area at some point. My word, I have so many of these, like, housing area things. Put one there. We've got another plot farm. Right there. Nice arrangement. So this is worth almost as much as this. Of course, I can get more points by placing my stuff over here, which we will continue to do. We want to build up a nice big city. We've got another one of these masonry things, and even though... This is because we're putting the temple over here, so we want as many of these masonry things in one place as possible. There's a lumber pack at long last. We've kind of been neglecting the whole lumber side of things. Actually, this might be a good industrial area. So there's a 26, but I want to be careful. Not to cut down too many of the trees. Like so. Another field, perhaps? Get these mansions down. There's a plus 18. Now these are only plus 5, so there's a plus 17. If I can get that in just the right spot, I should be able to get two plus 17s. There we go. So we're running out of uh, reliable places to place houses in here. There's still a plus 14 there. Oh, I never put a uh, housing node in here. Well, that was a mistake. I should have put this over here in these cities, but uh, you know what? Sometimes you make that mistake. There's a 23 right here. Let's get this lined up nicely. Shaman. If I get this slipped in there, maybe if I pull it out a little bit to like here, we'll get some good value in terms of housing. So, where do these huts even go, man? There's a good little spot on this hill, I think. Oh, they don't like on the hill. We tuck you guys in here. Sure thing. We've got two farm plots. Kind of hard to make sure that we line these up perfectly. Come on now. There we go. And even though this is inefficient to place these guys all in a row, it will be very useful for my temple later. I'd also use them to create a slightly better brickyard. I want to tuck that in. Okay, there's a plus 12, which is decent. Let's grab the fisher. There's a plus 22 fishery right there. 34. On the fountain. Very nice. Okay, do I want to go for the plateau or the parks? I like the idea of going for plateaus. Because I could maybe put a plateau in, like, here. If I could make it work. And if I could put a temple on this as well. I would be so happy. This would be absolutely devastating, though, if I can't get the temple on here. I think I can if I place that right there. This will also give boosts to all these houses that I want to build in this area. If I do this. So eventually that'll be really, really good. So yeah, I could place this here and it would get me plus 15, or I could place it like somewhere else and get more. You know what I mean? There's a plus 14 here, there's 11. Over here, plus 22, 11. I think the 15 is still probably my best bet. Now, what I could do is also sneak it in right here. I could just pull it back just a few pixels to there. Um, lumberjack.
want one more in range if I can get it. I want this to be like the god temple. I mean, obviously it's a temple for gods, but like, you know what I mean. <laughs> I want it to be a really good temple, okay? Right, so let's slide you there. Oh, really, you won't fit, eh? Alright, I see how it is. Right, tower, for sure. We've got a really good tower in here. In fact, you've got a few good places for towers. There's a 37 tower right here. Another plus 8 mason. There's a plus 12 little hut. Plus 5s. Ideally I would be getting somewhere in the region of 15. If I tuck you in differently. Like that. Okay, houses. There's a 23, very nice. Okay, warehouse and circus. Barley field over here. The nice thing is this will also work well with parks, this little barley area. Um, and as far as these kind of buildings go, I'm pretty sure that this area is like one of the better areas for it. I don't really have the uh, have the space for it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have a hard time placing you. I might just slap you in over here. At least one of you. Yeah, there's not really room. If I could tuck you in, like there's a plus eighteen. The circus doesn't do anything for these guys. These guys hate the circus. But the regular folk, they are big fans of the circus. And there's a 62 circus right there, which is really nice. Yeah, this is kind of... I don't know if my strategy is like the right strategy, but it, it seems to hold me through games pretty well. Uh, yeah, it could be time for the gold mine. I do want some parks, so I'll go for the parks first. Okay, so we got a really good uh, fishery over here. There's still a really good fishery right here, in fact. I'm going to go for the 13. 13 seems pretty good. Um, Park-wise, I'm not going to be able to put parks down here, so I'm going to have to focus on fountains. But up here, for example, we're getting benefits from farms and stuff. So now that we're getting down to, like, the plus 3s and plus 12, like, here, all right, here's a plus 12, which I can, I can, I can live with a plus 12, like... There's a plus 13. I can live with that as well. But a plus 5 is getting hard to justify. There's a plus 14. I can live with that. I want to make sure I'm getting like above 10. Above or close to 10. With each placement. Let's grab the market. Or the, the gold mine rather. And... Um, we want to place this, like, right there. So we want to get the gold mine. Slap it in right there. Get that 81. So how do you operate? Do you give me enough value to justify more houses over here? Not really. So this would hurt value for a short term. put you right here and then use you as a way to build off like this all right nice one excellent There's a plus 24 park right there. Another mason. Alright, I'm hoping I don't... I haven't messed this up. Like a plus 12 is pretty good. I want to make sure I'm not like overhanging this though. Okay, 
at these little guys. Let's see, kind of like spoil. You can kind of spoil your mouse around to get an idea where the good spots are. Looks like this is a pretty reasonable spot. It's not the best spot, but like right here is okay. All right, resort oasis. And a tavern. I actually have a pretty good spot for a resort oasis. Let's place these fields first. People who go to the resort kind of like enjoy farms for some reason. They hate being near the city. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Like this is actually a really good resort up here. But I think this is a little bit more of a reliable resort maybe. I guess I could shift that all to the left slightly. Put you there. If, 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 if. We have a look. So here's like a 35 oasis. Here is a 44 one over here, 45. 44 right there. Let's do it. Nice. And temple. All right. Moment of truth. Does it fit? It does. And there's a 205 temple. So by setting this up, we uh we made a good meme. It's a lot of points we just picked up from a single building placement. So like if you do this sort of thing where you plan ahead, you could you could make pretty good, you know. You can do pretty good things. Um, I'm not ready to place down that lumber mill. The tavern, on the other hand, could be real good. I want to make sure it's in a place where it overlaps with this brewery. So, like, right there. So, I don't want to be getting less than, like, 10 for placing something at this point. Here's a 25. Markets, walls, <laughs> the amount of things I have right now, um, wall plateaus, hell yeah. There's a plus 27 over here. Put you right there. Regular ass farm. Got another brewery. The 22 right there. Good stuff. It's a bit late for the city center, but it will get me some points if I put it like in a good spot. You know what I mean? And time for another lumber mill up here? For sure. And then that makes a sawmill more viable. Alright, let's have a look. Any good spots in here? There's a 10 here. Hmm, not worth it. Much would rather this. So what would we get over here? 35. 35 is good. We get a 32 up in here. Got a couple markets worth placing. If we place these markets in certain situations, like there's a really good market over here. So we'll get a wall plateau. And try to tuck it in over that way. And put the market up on this. Like so. And then I kind of want to do a similar thing over here. Just for, you know, kind of fun. Wait. The plateau markets, of course. Um, so in terms of sand extraction, right here is plus 15, which is good. Uh, water plateaus. 
random. Now, so now we're, 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 we've completed progression here and now we're just getting like random stuff to place, which is cool because it means it's more of a little puzzle that we have to play through. Um, we've got a plus 14 over here. There might be room for a plus 16 right in there. Very nice. Uh, let's see. We've got a field. You slide back. Just It's kind of hard to tell when these things line up. There we go. We could put a little park up here for the fun of it. Be a nice little park. I've got some plateaus to play with. Um, now these are good to place near these guys. This would potentially open up more rich house options over here. Like so. Or, you know, brings them up a little bit in terms of their stature. So that's something worth considering. There's a plus 23. Might be worth it to place another wall plateau for this. Storehouse thing. Plus 57 one right there. Lots of parks and lots of fields. Like so. So now we're starting to run into space issues in certain areas. So it becomes less about score and more about like fitting. So it's more important to me now that my just stuff just kind of fits into wherever I'm trying to place it than if it's like a particularly good uh, place to put it. Cool. Got some walls. Plus 14. Plus 8. Um, got some water plateaus we can play with too if we want. Plus 14 in there. Let's open up some of these guys. I could start placing walls around these completed areas. That's actually not bad in there. It's not a terrible move to do that thing that I'm contemplating. Putting a thing in the center of a farm. Uh, let's see. Plus 16, plus 17. There's a plus 18 right here. If I can just manipulate it right there. There's a plus 17. There's a plus 2. It's not good enough. I've already placed all those farms, so it doesn't really make sense to put a windmill thingy in the middle of it. My fisher house. I think there's a good fisher around here somewhere. Let's just have a quick investigation. Yeah. There's a 23. Some 12s up here. 13s. 12 is, 12 is what I would consider like a decent number. 11, 12, 13. These hermit little villages. Twenty one right there. Storehouse. Uh let's drop down another couple of these little hermits. Hermit huts as I like to call them. Got another lumberjack. Normally I wouldn't suggest placing them like this, but it seems to be working okay for me, so I'm not going to stop doing it now. 
25. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. Seems good, man. Let me see. All right. How do I do this? Plus 10. There's an okay one up here. There's a plus 28 storehouse here. I guess that's fine. Like, I mean, we've still got plenty of room to work with on this island. We've got two major population centers and then a kind of like a little bit of kind of production-y centers kind of building up. Uh, in terms of this guy, this kind of stuff, I think it would make sense to try to kind of mash these in a little bit. Hey, we got another one of these mill things. I think I'm going to try to, like, scooch you back to there. Now, the shaman. I'm going to just look for value out of this shaman, if I can. Yeah, there's, like, a 41 up here. We can even use this for, like, micro-residential. We'll get some more points. More random stuff to place. Alright, we've got another barley field that can probably fit in like there. And the nice thing is that that actually acts as a boost for fields too. A little park area over here. Um, how would you feel about some walls? Not bad walls there. Got another one of these resorts. Kind of sucky options. These things are so hard to place, dude. It's like so obnoxious. I'm almost tempted to just throw them out on a plateau somewhere. You're taken care of. I think there's a good one. Right here, yeah, 14. 14 not bad. Oh, all my lumber mills are up top. So I'm going to have a hard time getting good value out of these. They do have their own natural bit of value. Um, where do I want to actually... Do I actually want to, like, extend out here? Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to, like... Make, like, a little population area? Hmm... I feel like I want to like like put these near trees if I can. Like I could I could do some weird stuff like putting it here. I think ideally Slot together like that. Could put the shaman. Still some really good shaman up here. There's a 32 right there. Got parks as an option. Got another tavern. Oh, I really hope I can get a tavern in here. Oh, there it was. Plus 60. Bam. So at this point, a plus five isn't really worth it anymore. Um, there's got to be better ones laying around. Like if I go out to the edge, there is a plus 14. Plus 14, I'll take. Eight, seven... 
House. Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, some farms. This is exactly what I was kind of hoping for this area over here. I put my farm right there and right there. And then I... I'll find a good spot for you. Hermit houses. I think this is where we run out. Yeah, I think this is where we run out of placing stuff. But we had a good run. Like, I mean, this is a great little island. I kind of wish I could have kept going. I just didn't really set up any good combos. But yeah, other than the temple kind of thing and some of these like things on platforms. Yeah, that feels pretty good. We got a good little island going. I think I made a couple of small mistakes, like placing this over here was, in my opinion, a pretty obvious mistake. I thought I had us already placed my city center over here, but we made like, I feel like this is like a decent little town that we've built here. And I'm pretty happy with it. You know, we've got the needles, we've got a little farming area. I think I could have definitely, maybe some of these um, sort of exterior areas I could have improved a lot, like this is probably a waste. Um, but yeah, overall, very happy, very, very, very happy. So let's uh, let's jump into the uh, the next one. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.